everyone, it's Lydia from UF IFAS Extension, Escambia County. It does seem like it's very hot still from the summer, but we are headed into the fall season. Today we're going to be talking about our autumn clematis that blooms in the fall. We're out here on the track here at Extension looking at our fall bloomer, the sweet autumn clematis. Though it does have very pretty white flowers and it is fragrant during the fall time, it's considered invasive because it's a very vigorous vine. Once you have it, it'll keep growing and keep growing. Now there is a native version to the clematis, but sometimes it's very hard to find because stores will sell it and the invasive one under the same name, clematis virginiana. You have to be careful when you're buying it because the native version has serrate leaves, like a bread knife, so it has jagged leaves, and the invasive one has smooth leaves. So if you're planning to buy it, just make for sure that you look at that leaf pattern. Now an alternative to the clematis, you can plant a fall native honeysuckle that will bloom all throughout the cooler season. Make for sure that when you're pruning back any of your non-native invasive clematis, that you're careful. We've had several reports of skin irritations when pruning. If you have any other questions, you can call the Extension Office here in Escambia County.